Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you the easy way to blur your background in your images in Photoshop. And if at all, this is what I've always wanted to learn from, simply hit the like button on this video. And if at all, you want to download the photo to follow along, simply check the description of this video and you'll find a link to download this image to follow along. So you can see the before and after you can see what we're going to be achieving by the end of this very tutorial. So I'll simply come and I delete everything so that you can learn everything together. So in order to blur the background, you always have to separate your subject alone, put it on a different layer, and also create the background alone. So you're just going to come to the background layer and simply duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. So just come, press Ctrl J, or you can use Command J twice. And you can rename these layers to background, and you can name this to subject just like this so after doing this the next thing is going to be simply coming and selecting the subject so in order to select the subject there are a couple of tools that you have to use or you can use to select the subject so in this you are simply going to come and get the quick selection tool and as soon as you select that simply come to select and come to subject so that photoshop can automatically select the subject for us or you can use the pen tool and do or make a selection around the subject so right now we have selected around the subject and what is next we have to mask the subject so just come and click on this masking icon to create a mask of the subject and after you have masked the subject simply come and turn off the subject layer and select the background so we're going to go through the same process once again so the quick selection tool is selected come back to select and simply come back to subject so that we can automatically select the subject and after selecting the subject we want to eliminate the subject so that you can remain with the background so you are simply going to come right here to edit fill and under content make sure content hour is selected make sure color adaptation is also checked and opacity is 100 percent and the mode is set to normal preserved transparency is not checked simply click on ok and photoshop is going to automatically eliminate the subject by using content aware and you can see the subject has been eliminated from this background layer but we have to first of all deselect by pressing ctrl d or you can use command d on the keyboard to deselect the subject layer so when you zoom in by using ctrl plus on the keyboard you can see some of the outlines have been left in the image and you can easily remove this by simply coming and getting the spot healing brush tool the mode is set to no more content hour is selected and after doing that make sure you simply come and click over the edges just like that draw over the edges just like that and these edges are going to be eliminated so i'm just going to paint around the edges just like that and that is going to be cleaned out and i'll simply try to clear up on the rocks in the background so after cleaning up the edges that were left initially, what we have to do, we are just going to come and turn back on the subject layer. And after turning it back on, so with the background layer selected, selected simply right click and come to convert to smart object. So it is on the background that we are going to be applying the blurring effect onto. So we have made the background layer as a smart object. The reason for doing that is because we want to be able to change the blur radius or the values of the blur of the background later on after applying them on the background layer. That is why you have changed this to a smart object. So after doing that, simply come to filter, come to your blur gallery and come to the tilt shift. So after you create that tilt shift, it is going to bring these lines right here. So the very first thing you have to do, so simply come to the blur effect and simply just intensify it to see the effect. And after intensifying it, you can see it is affecting the lower part of the image, but this is not what we want. Simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and click on this pointer and drag it down just like that. And as you're doing this, you can notice that it is going to start applying the blur in the background. So you're just going to take it down up the point whereby we are having a blurry background so usually when the camera is focusing it oftentimes where the subject is standing 
that area is going to be in focus and the blur is going to continue increasing. That is why this area should not be blurry out or the point of focus shouldn't be blurry. And that is why we are not blurring this area. So we hold an option and we drag until when we feel like the effect is realistic to our liking. So you can come and intensify on the blur if at all you wish to and click OK. Don't mind if at all the blur is not enough because since we converted the layer into a smart object, as you can see, we can always simply come and left click on the black gallery icon and it's going to bring back the initial details that we put in this blur area. So that is the advantage of converting your layers to a smart object whenever you're applying a filter. So you can see that the background has been blurred out well. But we have one issue because when you zoom in, you can see it has left out these edges that are not looking natural and realistic and they don't look okay. So what we have to do, we are simply going to come to the subject layer and simply select it. Come and get the brush tool. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can reset by simply left clicking on these tiny swatches to reset black and white and make sure the brush settings, soft round brush is selected, hardness is zero, mode is set to normal, opacity 100%, flat 100%. So by painting using a white brush, you are going to be perfecting the subject and by painting using a black brush, you are going to be blurring more the background of our image. So so you're just going to come right here, make sure this icon is selected. So with, when the icon is selected, you're simply going to come and simply start painting. So like I said, black, when you switch to black, black is going to be erasing the subject and painting the black effect onto the background. You can see right now we are perfecting or eliminating the areas that were not initially well selected. But when we zoom into the subject in this case, you can notice that the hand was not perfectly selected because when we turn off the background layer, you can see some part of the hand was not selected. So turn off the background layer and switch the brush back to white. Remember, this mask of the subject is white. So you're just going to use a small brush and paint over the edge of the hand just like that. So be careful and paint on the edge of the hand and after doing that just come back and turn on the background layer and you can simply fill in those remaining areas just like that and you can see this is going to fill in the areas that were not looking perfect initially so we're going to scroll down and we look for those areas you can see background was not selected right here so for the background black as the top color or the four color and paint using a very soft brush on the edges of the subject and this is going to create a very smooth kind of edges for the subject selection so you can see right here this wasn't selected so just going to paint just like that and by just doing this you can see that we have created a nice and beautiful blur of the background remember you can always change the effects or the values of the blur by simply coming back to this option the black gallery simply click on it and you can always change the effect so this is how you can simply blur the background of your photos when it comes to photoshop and if i told you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating